Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this is your uh, general read for the month of May. It's not going to resonate with everyone because it's general, and that's okay. I urge you to uh, check out your other signs as they continue to be loaded. All right. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Remember that these readings... Um, Sometimes they can mean one thing the first time you watch them and mean something completely different the next time you watch them. Uh, sometimes they resonate right away. Sometimes this hasn't happened yet. Sometimes it's already happened. It just kind of depends. Energy is fluid. Time is an illusion. So we have to put a date on it because this is YouTube, but it's not necessarily, um, you know, the specific date that's there. So there is that, Sagittarius. Your energy, Sagittarius, for the most part, feels really happy. I am seeing like a small group that's a little bit down in the dumps, but for the most part, Sagittarius seems like they're in a really good place. Look at that. Love. <laughs> First card out. Like I said, it seems like you're in a really good place. Either you're, look at that, love and loyalty. Um, either you are just falling back in love with life, possibly falling back in love with yourself, being loyal to yourself, um, maybe even falling back in love with an existing partner, or maybe there's a new love, okay? High Priestess of Spirit. Uh, Libra, I feel like, got um, similar, if not the same cards, strength and the moon. Love this for you, Sagittarius. I do feel like you've come into your strength there. Maybe for a while there, Sagittarius, I feel like you were maybe a little bit down. Um, maybe you didn't feel like you were living up to what you wanted to, maybe living up to someone else's standards. Maybe I'm hearing like be all you could be because some of you could be going into the military. Um, I do feel like though you've learned to play to your strengths or it's not even that you've learned to play to, it's learned you've learned to accept where your strength and strengths lie and utilize it in a way that most benefits you i really feel sagittarius that you have gotten your emotions in check this is interesting because the way it's coming through to me like sagittarius it's like you were re real hardcore on the outside but behind closed doors, you would break down, you would cry, you would possibly be depressed. Um, you would be feeling all the feels behind closed doors is what I'm getting with this, which was kind of eating you up inside to never really speak your absolute truth. Um, it's coming, wanting to come through like in the moment where it was most necessary or most appropriate. Um, and so, you know, whenever you, whenever you hold on to that energy on the inside, it starts creating a lot of, um, stress that can even cause ulcers, you know, uh, but I am seeing you getting a hold of that. I'm seeing you really, really getting your emotions under control, saying what you need to say. Also being a little tactful with it. Sagittarius, I feel like you're a little bit more uh, possibly compassionate than what you may have been in the past. A little bit more understanding. I feel like it's always been your strength, whatever this, however this is uh, resonating with you. I feel like it's maybe always been one of your strengths to read people or understand people. Possibly you're an empath, but not always your strength to convey that. Okay. But now whatever has happened with this high priest energy that lays in the middle of all of this, I feel like you've really gotten back in to know yourself. Like I said, being loyal to yourself, not accepting anything less than what you deserve and not putting out anything less than what you would expect for yourself. I really love the way this reading is kind of shaping up for you. Let's see where the journey leads us. Four of Cups. We're not going to take it, but it, it may come out again. It did show itself. Okay, so there may have been um, a little bit of boredom. There could be something with addiction that struck back up. You know what? I do feel like someone here has been tempted. Someone here has been tempted to go back into whatever their poison was, whether it's drinking, weed, meth, pills, um, you know, eating, just, you know, uh, uh, maybe even just ugly thought patterns. Someone here has been very tempted to go back on that way. 
and they did not go for the temptation. They they were not led astray on this path. Now, there's others of you that are kind of experiencing, it looks like a little bit of a manic episode due to substance, and that's why this energy is coming through th so strong. That is only a small number of you, okay? That's the little group over on the sidelines that I was seeing um, in the beginning of the read. Okay, the high priestess i'm telling you the you have really stepped it up sagittarius to your higher self and i want to say something else sagittarius i feel like so many of you are giving the credit to something else i'm hearing like oh they love me so much they've been so patient with me or oh um, i was given another chance or oh and maybe all of that's true but i want you to recognize how hard you've worked for this because I can see that you have worked hard and that ultimately we all have free will and you don't have to change. You don't have to be a good person. So that part is on you. So I do want you to recognize the hard work that you've done and the choices that you've made in order to bring you to this place and time. Okay. Um, it, you know, it's good to recognize where everyone has their role and Libra had that similar. You may have Libra somewhere in your chart. You may want to go check out that reading, but, um, I, I, everyone has a role. Yes. Look at that. The Empress. Um, but I also, I don't want you to just give away all the credit to someone else. Like in this instance, you do deserve a pat on the back. You do deserve to kind of toot your own horn a little bit. Okay. Sagittarius. Wow. The sun, the high priestess, the Empress, the sun. Let's keep going. This is a major, major change for you. Sagittarius judgment. And the starman, wow, with the nine of cups. The reason you're getting what you want, the reason you're manifesting is because you've taken on a different perception of everything. You've ended out a cycle. You've chosen love, Sagittarius. You've chosen to be in love with life. You've chosen to love yourself. You've chosen to let real love in. You've chosen, some of you couldn't even allow yourself to be loved because you didn't think you were worth it self-sabotage but i'm seeing that's not the case anymore you've gone to your higher self you understand your ability to create you understand your role as a co-creator in your own life okay you understand your role um and responsibility in your own reality i absolutely love this and the reason that you found such happiness and strength crossing over a little bit of leo um energy there um yeah, and Libra energy as well. So yeah, you you're understanding that your happiness is coming whenever you, whenever you're coming from your higher self, whenever you're coming from the highest vibration that you have, you're always going to be in a happier space, and you're realizing that. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I love this for you. Okay, you've you've been born again. This transformation, you've got death over here, judgment over here, major major rebirth, and this is what you've come back strong, because you didn't come back just as a baby on the journey. You came back as a baby on the journey with all the memories from the last journey and all the experience from the last journey, and you're rising up again. You let that old self die, and you're in major manifestation mode. You're manifesting your own reality. Okay. So some, you've gotten very comfortable, Sagittarius, with your dark side. And I think it's absolutely beautiful because you've chosen to embrace it rather than to act like it doesn't exist. And this is another reason why you've been able to pull um, from your strengths and accept yourself the way that you have. This is so beautiful. Wow. Um, and if there is a love that's coming in for you or that has come in from you, it's very divine. Okay. This is very um a divine connection very much a divine connection and whatever all this energy is coming through like just so sincere my dog over there i'm gonna have to go let him out in a minute strength courage from passion if this is a love if this is a renewed love a reconciled love a rekindled love a new love a love for yourself it doesn't matter this is the truth do you see this love high priestess strength 
This is one of the strongest forms of love, if not the strongest form of love. This is a very, very strong bond and it's solid. Okay, it's solid, it's secure. Salvation through love. What am I telling you? You got the loyalty, the empress, and then the ten of cups. Salvation through love. It is you chose love you had free will you could have chosen hate you could have chosen resentment you could have chosen fear you could have chosen anything sagittarius you chose love or you are about to choose love if this hasn't happened for you yet or and, and if and if you're sitting there thinking this reading has nothing to do with me my life is shit everything's going to shit my man's cheating my my friends uh aren't there for me i'm about to lose my job I, my kids are are you know assholes whatever if you're one of the ones that are sitting there watching this reading and you're having those thoughts right like why would i be watching tarot if everything is going fine in my life then let me say this to you first of all um that negative mindset is going to eat you up you won't need anything else outside. You won't need any other outside influences or destructive um, entities. You, you're doing that all yourself. But secondly, if that is you, then this is a reading that is showing you what a journey to heal all of that may look like for you if you do so choose to have salvation through love. If you choose to be loyal to yourself and to your creator being and to the ones that support you in that creative energy, the ones that are loyal to you, then you will have salvation through love. You will heal. You will be reborn and you will be in that manifestation energy. Two cards coming out here. I love this. The shaman and the fairy. Okay. Change your perspective. We got the hangman over here. We get the fairy over here. Same card okay and the shaman the uh accept the mystery this is taurus energy okay with that sun so we got taurus and um Pisces, excuse me, Taurus, Pisces, and Leo energy coming out here. It's like your everything has kind of lined up, like your puzzle pieces are finally getting, you know, sitting together. Um, you may have even realized that you are some kind of a healer. You have some type of a, more of a spiritual gift than you thought. Definitely a lot of healing. Oh, ancient. I'm hearing ancient lost magic i'm hearing as well lost magic lost ways yeah someone's really gotten into their roots here okay you've got the devil be aware and the ten of pentacles um wealth forever what i see oh the the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles you got a lot of ten this is a powerful reading for you sagittarius truly you finally committed, look at this, strength, judgment, the devil, and the ten of pentacles. You've committed to what you want your reality to look like. If the devil gets a bad rap, but no. I mean, you've committed to what you want your reality to look like, what you want your home to look like. You've committed to what you believe to be the absolute, I'm hearing, strength of my life. Um, that's by that's by P.O.D. and Matishyahu. And how do you measure your wealth, right? I feel like even that has changed for you. Though many of you seem to have come up on some more money, okay? You've also got alliance here with this. Again, I feel like, Sagittarius, you're letting the ones that didn't serve you fall away. You're putting more emphasis and more care towards the ones that have been by you. Even if you've had arguments or fallouts in the past and this, these people have still come forward to be there for you, you're recognizing those alliances. You're changing your perspective on what maybe friendships and strong, even romantic relationships are supposed to look like. Okay, this is so beautiful. We're gonna get. A, I don't even think. No, we're not gonna get clarifiers because we don't need them. Because this reading is very clear and it's very beautiful. So again, if you're already in this energy, you're doing amazing. And the only suggestion I would have for you is to not be so quick to give all the credit to forces or people outside of you. And if this reading is not resonating with you, like I said, if you're sitting there, you know, thinking like, oh, no, 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 this is a bunch of bullshit. That's not my life. Maybe it should be. Maybe you're being shown a journey and a path that you can take to get what it is you actually want. So I love you so much, Sagittarius. That's what I have for you. Let me know in the comments below if you like this reading, and I'll see you next time.